Hi, boys and girls. We're ready for another OG lesson. We're going to review our silent E with our vowel, our long vowel of A, I, O. And we have our suffixes, I, N, G says ing. It means right now. E, D says ed, since our base word ends in a T. So it means in the past. And there's our I, N, G again. That means now. So you can read these words with me or echo me. Here we go. Made. Take. Nine. Like. Stone. Coke. Our base word help. Ing. Helping. Our base word tent. Ed. Tented. Our base word fall. Ing falling. Let's read these again a little bit stronger and smoother. Read them at the same time as me. Here we go. Made, take, nine, like, stone, coke, helping, tented, falling. Can you read these again? If you like the fruit, grapes. Do you ever eat grapes? Here we go. Made, take, Nine, like, stone, coke, helping, tented, falling. Can we read these again? If you like the fruit of oranges or any of those little cuties, the little oranges that look small, here we go. Made, take, nine, like, stone, coke, helping, tented, falling. So tinted means that you make something darker, like windows can be tinted to look darker to help keep out some of the sun. All right, I'm thinking of a word and it's a number word. It's nine, right? I'm thinking of a word and it's another word, a synonym for like a small rock. It would be a stone. I'm thinking of a word and it's when something drops to the ground. It is falling right now. I'm thinking of a word and it's a name of some soda or pop that you might drink. I drink it, but it's got to have the word diet in front of it. Coke, right? All right, this time I want you to shout the word out before I exit out. Here we go. Helping, like, take, tinted, coke, falling, nine, made, stone. Good. Now we have been practicing the U consonant E. We call that the long U saying you or oo, our e hops over one consonant to make the u say you or oo. You as in mule or oo as in tune. So I want you to echo or read with me. Rude, mule, rule, crude, brute, flute, yule, Tune, dune. Yule, that's a Christmas word. You see that a lot, like a Yule tide or Yule log. That's at Christmas time. A brute is like a bully, a brute. All right, let's read these again a little bit smoother. Here we go. Rude, mule, rule, crude, brute, flute, yule, tune, dune. Can you read these words with me again? If you like the fruit of pineapple, have you ever had pineapple? Do you like it? Read loud. Rude, mule, rule, crude, brute, flute, yule, tune, dune. Good. Now, do you like, read these, if you like fruit cocktail. I see some of you eat it in my class. A whole bunch of fruit cut up together. Here we go. Rude, mule, rule, crude, 
Brute, Flute, Yule, Tune, Dune. Let's read these one more time. Make it your best reading if you like peaches. Here we go. Rude, Mule, Rule, Crude, Brute, Flute, Yule, Tune, Dune. Ooh, now let's look for some rhyming words today. I see some, I see lots of rhyming pairs. Remember, they all have the same vowel. They have to have the same consonant ending sound. Here we go. I see rude and crude. They rhyme, they're in the ood family. I see tune and dune. A dune is like a sand hill. They call it sand dunes. I see more. Mule, rule, and yule. They're in the yule family. And we have two more. Brute and flute. They're in the oot family. They all have rhyming words. They all have a family to go to. All right, this time, you shout the word out before I exit out. Here we go. Flute, crude, tune, yule, rude, brute, dune, rule, yule. All right, let's get our paper out and ready. It is. February the 12th, 2021. Write me the lowercase letters. That's a suffix. It comes at the end of the word and it means in the past and it has three sounds. Ed, t. It's that suffix ed. It means in the past. Write me the lowercase letters that say o as in home. How do we get that o sound? O. Consonant E says O. Write me the lowercase letters that say E in a two-syllable word as in funny. And a two-syllable word Y says E. Write me the lowercase letters that say K as in duck. At the end of a one-syllable word after one short vowel K spelled CK. Write me the lowercase letters that say sh as in ship. It's an sh. Write me the lowercase letters. That's a suffix. It comes at the end of the word and it can mean more than one. And it says is and it comes when a word ends in ch, sh, sx, or z. Add yes, and you'll please me. Like churches, boxes, boxes. Write me the lowercase letters that say U or OO. U as in mule or OO as in tune. How do we get that U sound? U consonant E. Silent E. Write me the lowercase letters that say CH as in catch. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, CH is spelled T C H. Write me the lowercase letters that say I as in bike. How do we get that I sound? I consonant E. Write me the lowercase letters. That's a suffix. It comes at the, at the end of the word and it means right now. And it says ing. I-N-G. Right now you are right ing. Write me the lowercase letters that say tr. It's an R blend, tr, t, r. Write me the lowercase letters that say A as in cake. How do we make the A sound? A consonant E, good. Let's get ready to spell our words and use our tapper hand to help us. Our first word is snatch. Ready? Snatch. Four sounds, but six letters. Snatch. At the end of a one syllable word after one short vowel, ch is spelled T C H. We don't snatch things, do we? That would be rude. 
Our next word is fly. Fl I. Ooh. In a one syllable word, what says I? Y says I. I hear one syllable, one vowel sound. Fly. Our next word is wide. Ready? W I D. Three sounds but four letters. It starts like wagon because it's not a question word, just a W. How do we get the I sound? I D. Make sure you're making a D. Wide. Our next word is hope. Ready? H O P. Three sounds but four letters. How do we get the O sound? O consonant E. If we leave it like this, it's hop. We want it to say O. Oh, that E hops over, makes the O say its name. Hope. Let's go back and read these together. Snatch, fly, wide, hope. Now, outer diamond, we're working on that new long vowel. U consonant E says U or U. U consonant E says U or U. U consonant E says U or U. That E is silent. It hops over and makes the U say its name. Let's flip our paper over. Let's practice some of those U or U words. Our first word, get your tapper hand out, is rude. Here we go. R -u -d. Three sounds, but four letters. R Ooh, that ooh, U consonant E, rude. Remember, you it can say U or oo, and we're hearing that oo. Rude. E makes it say oo. Our next one, rule. R ooh. Three sounds, but four letters, so I'm hearing that oo sound again. R ooh. How do we get that oo? You can see, because it's not saying uh. That's the short vowel sound. So it's saying its name of you or oo, rule. Our next word is flute. Here we go. Fl, oot. Ooh, four sounds, but five letters. We have an L blend. Fl, oot. We need that silent E to hop over and make it say oo. We don't want it to say uh, that's the short vowel, flute. Our last one, dune, d -oon. Three sounds, but four letters. d -oon. U consonant E. Let's go back and read these together. Rude, rule, flute, dune. All right, we don't have a brand new memory word. We did this yesterday. W-A-Y. It rhymes with day, way. The A-Y says A. Which way should I go? Let's get ready to sky write. W-A-Y says way. W-A-Y says way. W-A-Y says way. Let's write it and spell it out loud. W-A-Y says way. W. A Y says way. W A Y says way. W A Y says way. Let's look at it two more times. Here we go. W A Y says way. Close your eyes and try it. W A Y says way. Can you do it on your own? W A Y says way. Do you remember that two syllable word? Number. Number. Two vowel sounds. Number. N U M B E R. We could make a cheer out of it. N U M B E R spells number. What about the word C? I bet you have that one down pat. S E E says C. Way number C. 
Let's get our sentence ready with cups. It could be a telling sentence or an asking sentence or a sentence with expression. Our cops, our C means capital, our O means the correct order, our P means punctuation, and our S means spelling. You might have to tap out a word. Just listen first. Can I ride the mule? Oh, my voice went up. Can I ride the mule? You're, you're wondering. You're asking someone, can I ride the mule? So it's gonna be an asking sentence. Let's think at the beginning, can. I think you know how to spell can. Can I, now I by itself is always uppercase. Can I ride? R I, d I hear that I sound. How do we get that I sound? I consonant E. Right. Can I ride? Can I ride the? Can I ride the mule? Mm, ooh. How do we get that ooh sound? We've just been practicing. Mule. That's our key word for the U consonant E. Mule. Can I ride the mule? You're run wondering, question mark. You're asking. Let's count our words. One, two, three, four, five words. Can I ride the mule? All right, good job today, boys and girls.